Thank you very much, Rory, and thank you to Rory, Simon, and all of you in the Freedom Association for giving me the opportunity to have something of an afternoon off, a rather lovely stroll down to Runnymede, and uh, the ability to show off to all of you some of the beautiful things that we have in Surrey. Uh, the, the name of the county doesn't necessarily conjure up natural beauty, but we do have some spectacular areas, and I hope you'll visit again now you've been to the water meadows at Runnymede. Um, why are me? Why am I here today? Uh, apart from personal connection, I'm, uh, as a county councillor, I'm a member of the Select Committee, the Community Select Committee. One of our more pleasurable uh, functions is to scrutinise the preparations for the celebrations of Magna Carta. The County Council is very aware of its responsibility and its privilege in having a lot of important Magna Carta history inside its county boundaries. And as you saw today, I mean, my job has been made a great deal easier by the fact that there was one of our Surrey Arts events taking place as you visited the site. Um, you mentioned, Rory, the uh, fantastic giants made by local school children. They represented Robert Fitzwalter, a leader of the Barons at the time that Magna Carta was signed, and then a chosen um, representative of freedom fighter, somebody who believed in freedom and liberty for each of the centuries since then. So there were eight for the 800 years, and the different schools had chosen different people to represent that. Now, as an organisation, obviously all these principles of freedom, justice, are really, really important to you. So you'll want to know how is Surrey going to tell people about the real meaning of Magna Carta. So it's not just one day, the 15th of June next year, but there's some kind of legacy, a lasting legacy, in the minds of people in Surrey, nationally and internationally. Well, the first um, sign I had that it was going to be exciting was, I think my first day as a county councillor last year, I was given this badge, which says I something, Ronnie Mead, which we're supposed to read as I love Ronnie Mead. You can see that it's got the National Trust symbol on it. And a really important part of what we're doing is working collaboratively with the National Trust, who actually own the land at Ronnie Mead. And uh, everything we're doing is with them and with the boroughs. So our, con our contribution as Surrey County Council to the Magna Carta 800 celebrations can be said to combine those two important factors, inspiration and perspiration. And the two things will be coming right to the forefront as we work with our partners for the next year. So let's start with a bit of the perspiration because Simon had to give you a health warning about crossing the road when you went to the monument. So you'll be pleased to hear that we have um, absolutely tied down our highways department and there will be new pedestrian crossings, there will be a reduced speed limit. The whole of that area is going to come much more accessible to visitors in future. So not just you, the Freedom Association, going to see the monument, but anyone from around the world should be able to do so safely with an improved visitor offering. Um, we are designing, we don't want to have hundreds of um, notice boards and little metal signs and things like that all across those beautiful meadows. So we're going to design an app, which has been designed and we're all trying it out, an app for visitors to load onto their smartphones. And as they, they can do self-guided visits with the history being explained to them as they go around the site. So that they come away not just having wandered through a beautiful meadow, but having learned something about the history of the site and that's going to help us to give the enduring legacy so that people go home knowing a lot more about Magna Carta and tell other people about it. So, perspiration, telephone apps, it all sounds a bit boring, doesn't it? But things get a bit more exciting when I get to the inspiration because we've allocated £700,000 to commission a piece of sculpture in the landscape. And this £700,000 commission is intended to tie the landscape really firmly into people's minds, to link it, runny mead, magna carta, every time they see this sculpture. So if you think, it won't be quite as big as this, but on this sort of idea, if you think of the Angel of the North and how successful that's been, making people to think of the North East, well, we've got five artists who are um, currently working on their submissions. Each one of them is either a Turner Prize winner or someone that's been a winner at the Venice Biennale. So really high profile artists who are bidding for this commission. And there's going to be a fantastic 
quite sizable piece of sculpture in the landscape when you go back again next year and hopefully will stick in yours and everyone else's minds and make them think of Runnymede and Magna Carta every time they see it to try and, I know this is awful jargon, but to sort of brand the area a bit more, but to link it with those important values that have come out of Magna Carta and which led to the setting up of organisations like yours. So that's a bit of our inspiration. Uh, we've also spent £300,000 in getting off the ground a lot of local events, Surrey Arts events. I think it was mentioned to you when uh, you were at the memorial uh, that we're going to, going to have a big concert at the Royal Albert Hall with um, an opera performed by school children from all over Surrey, written by Richard Stilgo, um, about Magna Carta. Lots of exciting local events, national events, and on this day next year, the Queen, plus three to 5,000 invited guests, will be at uh, Runnymede, and the world will see exactly how important that is in our history and the history of other like-minded nations. I hope some of those things reassure you that Surrey County Council is really taking Magna Carta seriously, trying to involve people of all ages and to make sure that the local community benefits as well by having extra money going into the museum in Egham and to other Magna Carta related things around the area so that visitors don't just come and spend 20 minutes and wonder what it was they were looking at, but really go and get involved. Um, talking about the legacy, there's going to be a 21st century ideas fair taking place with another one of our partners, Royal Holloway University, who are based in Egham, just off the uh, Runnymede site. And the aspiration is that that will become an annual event, an annual celebration of ideas in Surrey, but for the nation, and on the scale of something like the Hay Festival. That's the kind of ambition we have for it. So that these sort of things will be not just 2015, as I keep saying, but will go on into the future and make sure that there is a lasting legacy. So on behalf of Surrey County Council, I'd like to say thank you very much for visiting Surrey today. And I hope you'll come back next year for some of these 2015 celebrations and that you will tell all your friends that you've been on a great trip to Surrey today and that they need to get involved in the Magna Carta events that are happening from now onwards. Thank you very much.